And on the ninth day, after God made a farmer, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a companion. So God made a boxer. God said, I need a being willing to get up before dawn, get the kids off to school, patrol the house and yard all day, see the kids home from school, then play in the neighborhood all evening to fall back into bed with its fold. So God made a boxer. I need a companion strong enough to take on an intruder, yet gentle enough to comfort a crying baby. A companion to chase a ball, tug a rope, lick sad faces, have to wait hours for the family to return, then greet them like they've been missed and mean it. So God made a boxer. God said, I need a companion to sit up all night with a sick owner who can catch a toy, comfort trauma, show proudly in a ring, work the ranch and catch a critter. And when all that's done by Tuesday noon and pain in from old age, put in the same day all over again. So God made a boxer. God had to have a companion willing to play with boundless energy. And yet, while in a tangle of fun, stop mid-wrestle when his family whistles. So God made a boxer. God said, I need a companion strong enough to fend off an enemy, yet gentle enough to comfort the elderly, steady a toddler, and train the new puppy, who will stop for an hour to cuddle on the couch. It had to be a companion who jumped exceptionally high, run exceedingly fast, and never give up. A companion to hug, mug, and snug, and run like the wind, and snore, and drool, and muddy the floor, and raise a litter with her hungry shark teeth. A companion who would bring a family together with the soft, strong bonds of sharing, who would bark and then whine, and then reply with smiling eyes when the owner kisses the gray muzzle for a job well done. So God made a boxer. <laughs>